Welcome to Bills Game Day Recap. Alongside Thad Brown, I am Alexa Ross. The Bills traveled down to Miami for their first road game of the season. It wasn't without some obstacles, though, including some technical difficulties on the broadcast and a weather delay, but the Bills still came out on top 31-28. Thad, how do you think they looked in week two compared to week one? Well, you know, week one, the Bills came out on fire. Josh Allen, 300 yards. It looked like this offense was fantastic. Everybody's doing handstands. This game was like seven times better. Look, it wasn't just the numbers Josh Allen throwing for 417 and four touchdowns, but it was the way this game happened. First, it started out like last week where the Bills were going up and down the field, scoring touchdowns at will, but then the Bills ran into adversity in the third quarter. Miami took a lead, and it forced Josh Allen to come up with another drive. And unlike almost anything he had done to that point, this drive was exclusively Josh Allen throwing high-level throws deep down the field to Stephon Diggs, converting second and 24 to Cole Beasley. The touchdown throw to Gabriel Davis was amazing. And even after the Bills got a stop and got the ball back with the lead, they couldn't just run the clock out running the ball. They had to throw down the field some more. So for Allen to do all of that, I was blown away. Bills fans, there is no doubt now, this guy right here, he's your quarterback for like the next 10 years. And he might take you to some heights you've never seen before. I totally agree with you. And last week we were talking about how the 300 yard game, that was a milestone, right? We said that. We were like, this is great. He has stuff to work on. He did not fumble. He did not fumble. Mm -hmm. No turnovers in this game. That's there was a fumble, but we won't really talk about we're it. We're not going to talk about it. It wasn't official. But there were no turnovers in this game officially, which is huge. 400 yards after a 300 yard game is crazy. I mean, you can tell he put in the work this offseason. You can tell that he really wants to do this and knows the importance of the offense for this team. Defense, we all know today wasn't the best day for defense, but the defense is the anchor of this team, and he's learning and realizing that the offense needs to match it in, in the end. Not only is the defense the anchor, though, but you look what the offense did today. This is a new way for the Bills to win games with Josh Allen throwing for 400 yards. The more ways you can win games, the better off you're going to be. Josh Allen talked about what was different from his point of view not only today, but really the beginning of this season. This offseason, we worked really hard. Um, there's a lot of people behind, you know, what's what's going on behind the scenes, uh, just trying to make things right. Um, but again, I think it goes to the knowledge uh, of the offense, knowing your protection, um, knowing what can hurt you, knowing your answers if you see something, and getting yourself out of a bad situation. Uh, I think that's the job of the quarterback is not to get in the right play every time, but to get out of wrong plays. He's got ice water in his veins, man. I mean, the guy is, there's no moment too big for him. Uh, that was true the, from the very start when we got him here, um, quite honestly. And, and I'm proud of the way the guys, um, I think, are developing a mindset, right? That, um, you know, adversity we faced last week, uh, all the way, you know, going back to the start of training camp with COVID and uh, the adversity we saw last week, the adversity we saw today, a lot of challenges, and Josh is the leader. You know, I roll my eyes at some of the previous comebacks that Josh Allen, fourth quarter comebacks that Josh Allen has had. Fans love to point out, look at how great he is in the fourth quarter. A lot of those are touchdown passes that are like a minute into the fourth quarter, two minutes into the fourth quarter. This was different. This was with six minutes to go, not super late. But the point being, he was the whole offense. And after putting up 17 points, giving the Bills an early lead, he had to step up again late and under pressure. you got to be impressed with so many things, including, again, though, how clutch Josh was in the fourth quarter. That comfort level was something that Josh talked about post game. He said, you know, really understanding and working is what got him here. And the comfort level is why he was able to play with so much confidence. And he says, you know, I always, you know, I always do feel confident in myself. The confidence is there, but it's being able to execute it and get it out there. And I think that all the work he put in in the offseason is really showing in the confidence and comfort level with the offense and everything. And I do think having someone like Stephon Diggs helps. I think it helps having a trio of wide receivers who are all older and have done this mm -hmm. and are really reliable. I mean, in the one of the first few drives of the game, Diggs, Beasley, Brown, each of them caught at least a 20-yard catch. I mean, like, these guys are really, you know, he has the weapons, he has the offensive weapons, and he's able to get it done. And of course, that's going to make you more comfortable. Yeah, we're going to overlook Diggs a little bit in this show because it's so much Allen based. But look, eight catches, 153 yards, and a touchdown. That is what a number one receiver does. But you brought up the confidence. And this was a buzzword a little bit in the locker room when it came to Josh Allen's performance afterward. Now, one of the funny things about the interviews with the guys today, I brought up to a couple of them, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer. I said, look, you know, Josh had 417 yards today. And most of the time you throw a stat out, the players don't care. Today, that number was so large and jaw-dropping that 
both of those players react with, whoa, really? That's what he had? And if you want to see it, it's at my Twitter feed, Thad Brown 7. But the other players talked about how impressed they were with Josh Allen today. The offense, man, they just stepped it up. Um, that's that's what, where our offense is now. Um, they're able to make plays and, and move the football. And um, Whether if it's Josh, whether it's receivers, the running backs, off the line is, is doing a hell of a job. Um, you know, I, I, I love what they're doing on offense, and they, they had our back today. Josh is doing what Josh do, man. He just keeps getting better, you know what I'm saying? And it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? I just want to keep on seeing him, keep on getting better. That's really what it is. He's a general, like I said before. So, you know, we're behind him 100%. Every week you come out there wondering, you know, like what crazy stuff is Josh going to do this week? You know, whether he's going to run the ball for 100 yards or, you know, throw a 60-yard bomb or put balls on the on the money for Diggs to make plays on. And, and you know, he put, he made some great throws today. Um, you know, it was just – it was a fun day overall. As a quarterback in this league and you get confidence, uh, it's a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing for, for opponents. Um, you know, we played against one today. This past year has a lot of confidence. Um, you know, Josh today had a lot of confidence. Seeing him, you know, light up defenses like that is, uh, is remarkable. Short of winning a playoff game, I don't see how this game could give Josh Allen more confidence. In fact, John Brown said afterward he thought this was a game that pushes Allen up another level. Oh, absolutely. Let's take a look at the stats on this one. It was a game full of first. Josh Allen confidence up today following his 300-yard passing game. Surpassed 400 yards. Check this, 249 yards in the first half alone. I think that's good. That's a really good thing, seeing as we got over 300 last time. Stephon Diggs recorded his first touchdown with the Bills. We were all waiting for that. Eight catches for 153 yards. Unfortunately, we missed it in real time because of the technical <laughs> difficulties. Reggie Gilliam and Gabriel Davis both recorded their first career touchdowns as well. And the backfield finally got a chance to shine against a shaky run defense. Devin Singletary had 10 carries for 56 yards. Jordan Poyer and Mario Addison each tallied a sack on Ryan Fitzpatrick and a tackle for loss. Ed Oliver also got to Fitz. Tyrell Dodson picked up a tackle for loss of his own. But still, Fitzpatrick was able to rack up 328 yards in the air. You know, we don't talk enough about what the defense did today and really how guys stepped up for the two linebackers that were missing, Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano. I thought Tyrell Dotson had a pretty good game. And really, that's kind of another theme that might get a little bit overlooked in this game. The rookies, the young guys, really making an impact. I mean, you think about it, Reggie Gilliam scored the first touchdown of the game. Gabriel Davis had the game winner and an amazing game winning catch it was. Davis admitted that he kind of surprised himself with the catch. He said, look, I knew I caught it, but I wasn't sure because of NFL rules if it would count as a catch. He also discussed how important it was to make a big play for his new team. I always felt like I was ready for those situations. Um, so anything that ever came to me, I felt like I was ready to do whatever I have to do in order to be successful. So, I mean, it was a great catch, but, you know, nothing that I don't expect myself every single day. Got to give credit to Gabe Davis and Reggie um, for making plays you know, when their name was called as rookies, you know, Reggie being an undrafted guy, I mean, um, to come in there and, and do that and make a play at the at the goal line, catch a ball there, that's that's huge. And, again, it gives the offense juice. Um, you know, we love seeing, seeing guys that are the underdog score. It's no better than, you know, playing for a team that you genuinely love to be on because of the people around you. And to make them proud and to work for them and to win for them is the best. And I feel like that's how all our guys feel. Gilliam talked afterward about how, this year for him was not nearly how he thought it would go. No pro day, COVID restrictions all over the place, preventing him from really getting a chance to show off the NFL teams, not drafted, had to fight his way onto the Bills roster. Now here he is week two scoring a touchdown. Well, and it just goes to show the importance or lack of importance of a preseason. I mean, these rookies really have it down. I said it last week with Zach Moss, you know, just being in the right place at the right time. They really understand the playbook. It's been really fun to watch them because they all really have just kind of gelled in a way that I've never seen a rookie gel before. I mean, and that goes without real game reps and mm -hmm. things like that. They are just getting it done. And I think that that just goes to show the chemistry of this team and how that's going to be so important uh, going forward. And it helps, too, that all the rest of the guys on the team who have come back, who know the system, who understand what, what's to be expected, I think it makes it easier to fold in somebody new that way. We're not trying to explain things to everybody on the team at once. We've talked a lot about the offense in this game, but... Really, even though the defense didn't have a normal game for them, when push came to shove, you had the goal line stand that helped for sure. But also, when the Bills got up 24-20, defense came up with a stop. And then after the second Josh Allen touchdown late, it was the special teams 
who was able to finish the game off with the onside kick recovery. So this wasn't just a game for the offense, which should make Bills fans feel even more excited. That's just the mindset of our team, you know, understanding that there's going to be ups and downs in a football game. And so when, you know, the game's on the line, you know, when it, when it meant the most, we were able to get a stop. And, um, you know, that's why it's a full quarter game, um, you know, offense, defense, and special teams, you know, and then we came out there, our hands team and ended the game. So um, it was a full team effort win, man. I mean, there's not one side of the ball that did more than the other side of the ball. That was a full team effort win. And, you know, we're just glad to be 2-0. and Yeah, and I think the last thing that Jordan Poyer says there is important. We are gushing. I mean, it is overflowing right now how excited I think we here on the show are and Bills fans in general. They're 2-0. and I mean, and it was still the Dolphins. There's a lot more work to be done. There are a lot bigger games on the horizon, maybe all of them for the Bills. But this game feels so good for Bills fans for so many reasons and I think is a huge step up in terms of confidence, ability. I mean, check all the boxes for what the Bills want to do going forward. Well, we talked about this last week also is that you know, we can't really evaluate teams until probably week four where everybody's I, kind I put of, it at Halloween, to be honest. So we, we got a ways. Well, there we you go. Yeah. So, you know, we can feel good for now. We'll keep, we'll keep going. There has been talk of, you know, things that the offense needs to do to improve. Sure. And a lot of those things did get fixed. No Josh Allen turnovers in a game, huge. I mean, I was shocked. But it does happen. It, they, they do happen occasionally. So it was great to see. So, you know, as long as we keep working and going towards that, I think that things are going to be really solid for the Bills and I think we really do have a shot at a really fun run later on in the season. That wraps up our week two coverage for the Bills and the Dolphins. Next week, you know Home what Home for the Rams and uh, they were impressive today knocking off the Eagles. The 2-0 Rams now look good and they have a much larger array of talent than what the Bills have seen so far. Yes, so it will be something that we need to pay attention to, that they need to put the work in for, mm -hmm. and I think we can have a better judge of what's coming after that game. But until then, thank you so much for watching. For Thad Brown, I'm Alexa Ross. We'll see you right back here next week.